Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're gonna see what's the energy surrounding you guys this week, okay? I do wanna thank you all. I wanna thank you all for all your likes, all of your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below, okay? All right, my loves, I do wanna send a special shout out to all my members. Thank you guys, thank you for joining me, thank you for supporting the channel. I will be doing another members only video this evening for you guys. Also guys, for my subscribers, both old and new, thank you guys, thank you for joining me. I do love and appreciate every last one of you guys. All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see what's the energy surrounding you guys this week. Give me a sec. Mm. Nice and hot. <laughs> My tea is nice and hot this morning. Let's see. What's the energy surrounding my Virgos this week, Spirit? I am presence, assessing the divine within. Mm. This is you guys assessing the light from within. The light is within you. You guys are vibing on a high vibration this week. It says stellar gateway activation, infinite potential, manifestation, vortex. Right? This week is going to be one of those weeks we have a powerful energy coming through. With that solar eclipse that we're in that that's coming through. Such a powerful energy. You know, this is a manifestation vortex this whole month. This whole month is can, could be considered a manifestation vortex. There's infinite potential. This is the time to take action. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys are being called as I just saw 222 on the clock. You know, assessing the light from within you. Whatever, whatever you want to accomplish, you can accomplish. Whatever changes you want to bring forth in your life, you can bring those changes into your life. Whatever actions that you want to take towards your highest and your greatest good, you can do just that. You can do just that. You're entering into... I feel like you guys are entering into a time. It says sacred inner space, sensuality, sacred chakra, and your tenderness. You know, I feel like you guys are entering into a time, like a time zone of infinite potential, you know, to bring forth whatever changes you guys may want to bring into your life. I feel like, I don't know why I feel more so like you guys... There's like, it's like feeling called, if not now, then when? Like to take action, to go after your dreams, to chase after the career that you want. If you're deciding that you want to do something, like you want to go back to school, or you're wanting to put an application for something different, because I'm also getting that. Like some of you guys, there's something about you guys applying for something that you were hesitant on applying for. That energy is coming through as well. Yeah, show me, show me what I need to see for my Virgos. We have opposition, confrontation. And then we have cancer energy being immersed in. And then we also have communication, third house. That card came out either yesterday or the day before yesterday. So this is through communication. You know, we are currently in Mercury retrograde right now, present moment. So there could be a lot of miscommunication. There could be a lot of miscommunication, but there's also could be illusion surrounding communication. Whereas somebody will say one thing, but the other person may perceive it to be something else, wanting to perceive it to be something else because someone's living in some type of illusion and they want something to be what they want it to be. They want to believe that, it, that someone doesn't, they want to believe. That's kind of the energy. Somebody wants to hear what they want to hear. So whether that be coming from you or somebody within your energy, there's an illusion around some type of form of communication that could be coming from you or going or, you know, 
either coming in or going out. I see where there's some there is some opposition here. There's some opposition that you guys may be faced with. Why? Because you want something other than what is being offered to you. You want something other than what is being offered to you. And I feel like you guys are tired of hearing no. I feel like you guys are tired of being stagnant. I feel like you guys are tired of other people trying to dictate your future. That's kind of the energy. With that cancer energy being immersed immersed in your emotions. Some of you guys may be in your feelings this week. Being your feelings this week because you're receiving opposition or because there's been some type of miscommunication, I do feel like some of you guys, you will be in your feelings this week. You know, you're trying to manifest something into your life. And you may be, there may be people, places, things, situation, occurrences here that's just not working well with you, just not aligning as a C555 on the clock. It's not, it's not, it's, they're not helping you. That's kind of what I'm getting in this energy. Like, what, what people are doing, what people are saying, the actions that people are taking, you know, there's something about your surroundings where you may find like certain people, they're not making it easier for you. That's kind of the energy. It's not saying that they're stopping you. It's not saying that the, the opposition that you're getting, like you won't, you won't over, like, you know, that you won't move past it. That's not what it's saying. It's just saying that they're just, they're just making things not so easy for you. So some of you guys, you may be applying for something and there may be some type of, oh, well, you have to do this thing before you can do this thing. So you may, there may be some things like that. Like, you know, you may want to do something, but there's, 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 there's a process, you know, there's something here coming through for this week, whereas everything is a process. It may be a little tedious. It may be a little tedious, but it's not for you to give up. You know, it's not for you to give up. That's kind of the energy that's coming through. A lot of communication, a lot of communication because chain, you want, there is, you want and there is transformation. And I feel like the transformation is you. The transformation that's occurring is you. And I feel like you guys can no longer hide you can no longer hide your light your light or that feeling of being called to do something different or to do or to just be different because i feel like you guys feel different now there's something about you guys feeling differently now yeah massive energy Bottom of the deck, we have conjunction, alliances. Some of you guys may be have, forming partnerships, you know, where when one door closes, another door opens. You know, you have an opportunity here to manifest whatever it is that you want. You have an opportunity to put action behind your words this week. And you may be called to actually join forces with somebody else. Whereas you may, you may have been working on a project or something with one person and they took that, they took the, they took you for granted. They took what you brought to the table for granted. And now this is like a new opportunity coming in for you guys to work with somebody else. You know, this is getting, un, this is getting things done. You know, you may have applied for something um, and the, the parties, the partner, however this goes, the facility, the company, they, you and this person, you and these people, your vision wasn't the same. That energy is coming through as well. Where like some of you guys, there's something here about one person, the vision is not your, you and this person's vision is not aligning. And some of you guys, there's something here about a vision aligning with someone else, you know? So there's one door that's closing, but it's bringing forth a change and a new opportunity that's coming in for you guys. There's something about the light is within you. You know, this is like the oppositions that you guys may be seeing. It's not to dim your light, it's to make your light stronger. Because I feel like you guys could could have or have, like, you know, at some point, there's something about energy suckers. Whereas your light was dimmed due to so many energy vampires that was around you. And the more like you kind of just 
break things apart, take, you know, let people kind of go do their own thing. The more you try to do your own thing and go towards, truly go towards the light. Because you feel that light within you about to bust. I feel like you guys, you feel changed and different. You feel like there's some type of internal transformation that's happening. You feel, that's just how I feel. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you guys feel a transformation happen, happening. I do. And I feel like a lot of you guys, there has been certain occurrences and certain situations that may have dimmed your light. You're entering into a manifestation vortex. Yes, you may, you may, you may see some opposition. You may see some opposition. Um, I feel like it's for you guys to go deeper. Go deeper. There's something about you guys being in your feelings, in your emotions. But I also get like, I get like a lot of you guys being kind of immersed this week in your family, in tradition, in figuring out ways of doing certain things that align with tradition. Because with that energy that's coming through, that kind of aligns with tradition. Like, I don't know why I'm getting like taking old medicine and making, as I just saw 1111, like there's something about herbalistic, there's something about old medicine or like apothecary, like something like that. Like there's some type of energy like that, like taking something like from the high priestess or the gods or the, you know, the angels, like taking something all natural. I don't know why I'm getting like some of you guys, you may be called this week to work with the elements of the world. Like, you know, something more all, all natural, but I feel like this is like getting immersed into it. Like some of you guys, you may find yourself diving deep in some type of intelligence or some type of learning here where something attract, like you're, you're attracted to something and it's like you're immersed in that. There's something like there, there may be a new creation here. You guys may be inventing something new or you're taking some type of invention and you're expanding it in some type of way, shape or form. Or there's finally, okay, you finally got time to get into a new hobby for some of you guys this week. And I just feel like you, you guys are kind of just being engulfed in that, truly engulfed in that. A lot of communication coming through. A lot of communication that's coming through and a lot of communication that's going out regarding an ending but whatever this ending is this ending is bringing in a new beginning new opportunities new opportunities for you yeah show me spirit show me what i need to see for my virgos what's coming through this week for my virgos so we have endings look at that skull some of you guys could have been born on the 29th. I also have the fourth here. I have the number 53 and the number 41. And 51 could be very significant for some of you guys. But there is an ending that's happening for you guys this week. Give me more spirit, please. Unlimited potential. Look at that. As I just saw 1313 13 on the clock, you guys have unlimited potential. And there is something that is ending for you guys this week. Whatever that is for you, there is something here that is ending, but I feel like that ending is bringing forth some type of transformation. You guys have unlimited potential. And I feel strongly that there's been something, someone that has been hindering your light. Hindering your light, but your spirit guides are calling. It's like your spirit guides are making room for that light to shine brighter. Show me. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos, please, spirit. I see confrontation, um, confirmation. I see confirmation coming through for you guys. Angel numbers 1111. See that? I just saw angel number 1111. Angel number, there's confirmations of an ending that's happening, but it, it's also confirmation of a transformation that's happening within you and in your life. Bottom of the deck, um, bottom of the deck. I see enlightenment, my loves. <laughs> I see enlightenment. Some of you guys could have been born on the 27th. It talks about the lotus flower. Some of you guys may be receiving a message today. I don't know why I said today. This is more of this week's energy. But some of you guys may receive a message here from a stranger or from somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while. It's nice. There's some type of enlightenment here. 
there's some type of enlightenment you guys are seeing this week or receiving this week um, through some form of communication. Through some form of communication, you may get multiple offers I'm getting for some of you guys. You know, you may apply for something and you may truly get multiple offers because I'm seeing multiple, multiple offers here. You know, some of you guys, you may be out and about, like this is like sitting on a park bench and all of a sudden there's a light. All of a sudden you have a light bulb moment. I feel like you guys, some of you guys are being called to journal this week. Journal this week and reflect like over the weekend, kind of reflect over the week. Reflect over what has happened for you on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And there's some type of confirmation through this. Because some of you guys are being called to change something. Are you being called in a certain direction? But there's something about, your, you may not be noticing it. You know, you may be getting certain downloads. There may be certain little things around you that you're seeing, but you're not truly, truly seeing. But there's something about you guys kind of journaling through the week. And at the end of the week, take a step back and go through all of that and see what you get from that. I'm kind of seeing that energy coming through for you guys as well. Yeah, let's see. What's coming in for my Virgos this week, Spirit? We have grieving. And we also have closure. Some of you guys may be, you may be in your fields this week, you know, you know, and this grieving due to this closure, I always feel sometimes, <laughs> you know, this grieving due to this closure, this is like closing a door. This is like truly closing a door. This is like leaving behind something that you've been, you've been kind of with like a company. You may, you may have been with a company for a long time and it's like leaving something behind, um, because it's kind of this, this is kind of giving me a bittersweet energy. You know, you may be closing the door, like fi you're finalizing a divorce or you're finalizing a separation here. And it's kind of, it's, a, there's a bittersweetness here. You know, some of you guys, you may be grieving a loss here, but it's like fine. It's like going to the, to the, um, going to the, I don't want to say the cemetery, but you know, going to, um, the people that actually lay your loved ones to rest and like there's some type of closure that's happening you know there may be some there may be certain investigations that's going on and finally there's some type of closure that's coming through there's something here where as you've been waiting to be able to move forward you've been waiting for something to finalize you've been waiting for something to come to an end and I feel like some of you guys, what I'm getting here in this energy is that finally you're going to have the opportunity to move forward. Finally, there's going to be some closure for you guys. So you may find yourself feel truly being in your emotions this week at some point in time. Yeah. But there's something oh so beautiful coming through for you guys this week. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. Tell me what I need to see. It says boundaries. Some of you guys are putting up boundaries here. Empowerment, taking back your power. You see, last week I kept getting an energy of you guys not feeling inspired, but I feel like you're inspired this week. There's an inspiration that's coming through for you guys this week. There's empowerment that's coming in. You guys had to make up your mind. That's kind of the energy that's coming through. You had to make up your mind. You had to make up your mind regarding whatever situation this is. You know, you had to make up your make up your mind to pack up and move on. You had to make up your mind. So may, someone may have asked you to do something, go somewhere with them. You had to make up your mind to say yes or no. There's something here about you guys having to make up your mind here. And do you see where there's a lot of protecting your energy coming through this week? Putting up boundaries. You, there's a feeling of empowerment that's coming through. Something's inspiring you guys. There's some type of inspiration that's coming through for you guys this week. And what's where is this inspiration coming from, Spirit? Where is this inspiration coming from? Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Hmm. That opposition. I don't know why I keep feeling like I feel something. <laughs> that opposition, whatever, you know, this is like proving someone the hangman, Pisces energy, setting yourself free. 
you guys may experience opposition. That opposition is not deterring you, though. It's not. It's actually, what I'm seeing here is it's your driving force. The opposition that you guys are receiving is your driving force because your eyes are open now. Your eyes are opening now. You know, because when that, when that hangman comes in, this is saying that, oh, you know, you're surrendering to the divine. You know, you're setting yourself free. You're seeing something from a different perspective. You're seeing someone through new lenses. You're seeing a situation through new lenses. So you guys are seeing something truly for the first time. What's I always say what's real and what's fake. Because whatever this is, whoever this is, because you may see the opposition or the challenges or like, like there's someone, something that may try to get in your way, but they're not going to be able to succeed. They may try. They may truly, truly try, but they're not going to be able to succeed. No. Hangman, Pisces, energy. Show me spirit. Show me what's coming through for my Virgos this week. Strength, Leo, energy. You guys are being, <clears throat> again, there's some strong energy coming through for you guys this week. So you may feel a little sensitive. You guys may feel a little sensitive this week. You guys may feel, you know, because there may be some insecurities. Why? Because the fact that you're being faced with certain oppositions, you know, challenges may come in. Things may not be so old smooth sailing. Like I told you guys, not everybody is going to be wanting to make things easier for you. Some people may be trying to make processes even harder for you. But this is, to, this is like testing your strength. Testing your strength. But what I'm getting here is that they, whoever this is or whomever, whatever this situation is, it, they don't know you. They don't know your perseverance. They don't know your drive to persevere. Because there's a driving force here for you guys. You know, you want to succeed. You want better. You do. You want tough times to end. You want a new beginning. You know, you guys want change. You guys want transformation. That's something that is your driving force. And because you want that so badly, you're not allowing these oppositions, these challenges um, to, come, to come in between your what you want, what you truly, truly want, the devil. See that? Because there is some toxic, <laughs> there, there's some toxicity there. Capricorn energy, strength, Leo energy. That the strength came out in the reverse. And that's why I keep saying, like, you know, some of you guys, you may be faced with situations that, that, are, that may be challenging. Maybe challenging. You know, the devil talks about attachments, toxicity. You know, it talks about attraction, temptation. You know, the devil is a choice as well. It's just like the lovers. It's a choice. You know, the devil comes when you, you're you in something. You know, you're in something. You're engulfed in something. It doesn't matter because this could be a business deal. You know, you're in something that is borderline because you're bordering a line when the devil comes in. There's bordering a line of too little might be okay, but too much might be too much. That type of energy. You know, some of you guys, that's why you're, the boundaries are being, are, are being, your spirit guides are showing that you may have to put up some boundaries here. Um, there's something about you being empowered to speak up for yourself, to be your own advocate this week. Be your own advocate. You guys are finding inspiration. Some of you guys may be finding inspiration. I keep getting medical. Like, you know, you may be, you may be visiting the doctor and they give you some type of diagnosis or some type of thing. And you're like, no, I'm not taking all this medicine. I'm going to go to like a herbalist or something like that. I don't know why that energy keeps coming through. Don't know why that energy keeps coming through. But I do see where it's like something trying to take you down, but it's not going to be able to take you down. I do see where you guys are overcoming whatever this is here. I see new opportunities coming in. I want, your spirit guides want you to use your wisdom. There is going to be some emotional turmoil. Things won't be oh so smooth selling. It's not going to be oh so smooth selling here. But I do see like some of you guys having, I told you, there, you're going to have an opportunity. One door is going to close and another door is going to open for you. 
And finally, this is you birthing something new here. Going towards what's new. I feel like by the end of this week, you guys will feel stable. There's something about your stability. There's something coming through for you guys this week. There's some type of action or however this energy that's coming through. By the end of this week, even though things may be a little shaky, a little rocky, a little off kilter, a little aggravating for some of you guys as well because of the opposition that you may feel because it's like kind of like that energy that's coming through. There's something about by the end of this week, there's going to be something, there's a feeling of stability, a feeling of feeling more abundant than the way the week the week started feeling like there has been some type of growth or some type of change or some type of transformation that has actually happened in your life so whatever the aggravating energy that's coming through for you guys this week by the end of the week things will feel differently things will feel more grounded things will feel more stable beautiful energy let's see let's get you guys one more card show me spirit Show me what I need to see. So it says, you're strong. You're a Kelly Clarkson song. You got this. I think that is so cute. I think that is so cute. All right, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Bye, guys.